Well, hello there everyone and welcome to my next decluttering video in my decluttering series. If you guys haven't seen the other ones, make sure to check out my playlist down below. But hi, my name is Rosa and I'm just your average spooky Disney loving girl next door. But sometimes I like makeup too and especially decluttering it. So today we are doing my highlighters, bronzers and blushes. And I want to make all of this fit into this little basket. Um, probably except these two guys because I don't think they'll fit in here if I decide to keep them But let's go ahead and get started All right guys, so these are all of my highlighters. The only highlighter that I do not have currently is my Mac superb highlighter because I'm using that right now in my everyday makeup, but Here are all of my highlighters that I have as you can see I have a lot and there are a few that I can already see I want to get rid of so let's go ahead and just go through all of them so let's go through my Becca ones first. So you can tell which ones are loved and which ones not so much. The first one I have is Opal and let's open this up. And as you can see, this one is super loved like that. I don't know if it'll like that dent though. So obviously I'm gonna keep this. So next is Becca's Moonstone. And as you can see, this one is well loved as well. That dent though. <laughs> It's because I love it. It's just an amazing every day. And plus I tend to um, trade these out every month. So I use one highlighter a month usually. So um, these, this one was recently used last month and this one was used the month before. So obviously I'm gonna keep those because I love them. This one, I love this one, you guys. First of all, beautiful freaking packaging. Like the inside, this is rose, this is copper. What is this? This is blushed copper, and this is just an amazing color. Like, it is so pretty, but as you can see, it's not as loved as most. So I think what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this for my blush for November, and uh, it's, it's October, right, when I'm filming this, like literally October 30th, so I'm not sure when this will go up. All right, so next I have my two Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. I have it in Bare Light and Pink Light. I hope you can see them. Yeah. And I am going to keep Bare Light and Declutter Pink Light because these are limited edition. They don't have these anymore. But I love to, during the summer, I love to use Bare Light with my foundation. Not only does it make it beautifully and beautiful and dewy, but it just um, thins out my foundation a little bit so it makes it more of a natural coverage. The pink one, I obviously don't use pink all over my face, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter Pink Light and keep Bare Light. So. <laughs> I have the same issue with these guys that I do with my Revlon ones. One I use all the time and the other not as much. So the first one I have is Mary Luminizer and again you can see how loved it is. And then I have Cindy Luminizer now. You can see this one is not as loved. Um, I really just, I don't think it looks good on my skin tone. It's very, very pink. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. And finally, I have my three highlighters from ColourPop. So these guys survived my last declutter. If you guys haven't seen my last declutter, I will post it down below as well in a playlist. But I have Stole the Show, Smokin' Whistles, and Butterfly Beach. Now I think I'm going to go ahead I really want to declutter all of them, just but I feel like they are just so freaking pretty. I mean, they are just gorgeous freaking highlighters. Like they are so pretty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep Butterfly Beach. I think this is just a really nice kind of pinky summer uh, highlight shade. It's not like a pinky like uh, Cindy Luminizer. It's more of a bronze glow type highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Oh my god, this is so sad because these are like my favorite ones, but I think it's time to get rid of both of them. The first one is Smokin' Whistles. It's just this beautiful um, white, pink, gold. But as you can see, it's actually cracking. I think it's just kind of old, so I might have to toss this. Oh, I stole the show. We've been through so much together, me and stole the show, like so much. And it's just... Oh geez, I can't get rid of this one. It's beautiful, honestly. These are so beautiful and they're only $5. So I'm gonna, 
Oh my God, that gave me like the sweats, you guys. <laughs> like that was so hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these two, I believe, in my collection. I think that is everything for my highlighters. So I'm gonna be getting rid of, sadly, Smoke and Whistles by ColourPop. Cindy Luminizer by The Bomb and my Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights in the color Pink Light. So let's go ahead now and move on to bronzers. All right, so these are all of my bronzers. The only ones that I don't have in here is my Too Faced Contour Palette, which I'm currently using right now in my everyday makeup. But this is everything that I don't, that I'm not using at the moment. So let's go through it. So I 100% know that I want to get rid of my NYX bronzer in the color um, Daydream of Oahu. I have hit tan on it, so I don't think I can resell it or put it through a rummage sale, so I might have to toss this. But I have been through thick and thin with this guy. This guy survived my last declutter videos. This guy survived my last declutter videos, but alas, poor Yorick, it's time for you to go. So we are going to go ahead and declutter this guy. Next, I am, oh, you guys are gonna be like, why are you gonna keep a sample? But this is the most amazing, I can't wait till I run out of this because I told myself I'm not gonna buy a full one until I run out of this. This is the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced. As you can see, it's so dirty, but I swear this stuff is like never dying. I have used this ever since I got it, like which was maybe a year ago or like two years ago even, maybe like a year and a half. And this has not hit pan. And it still smells like freaking chocolate. Like the chocolate has not gone away but I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because this is such an amazing shade for my skin. All right, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, baby. This guy is staying with me, okay? I love this palette so much. I think it's just an amazing array of colors. They all work for me. I mostly use these three. You guys can see, yeah. I usually use these three and sometimes this one, but Usually, sometimes that one when I want a deeper contour. I love this palette so much. As you can see, I barely use this salmon color. These are the ones that I use. So basically, if I ever hit pan, it'll be like this four and these guys, or these four, or these four, and those two probably will never be used. But this is an amazing palette. I know that they have replacements coming out for all of these. Like you can buy them in single pans now, which is amazing. So I wish they had that for Too Faced, but unfortunately not yet. If you guys know a dupe for Light Coco in the Too Faced palette, it's that lightest shade, it's like this color. Let me know because I really need to get a new one because that one's seriously hitting pan. But I am going to keep my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Now I have these two guys and I think I'm going to declutter both. I think I'm going to declutter my Tarte one thing is I liked it but it didn't really show up too much on my skin tone which is really weird because I am kind of on the pale side and I always thought all bronzers would look like you can see it on my skin but unfortunately you can't see this one so I'm gonna have to go ahead and declutter it and this is the um this is the Park Avenue this is the Park Avenue Tarte Tarte one so yeah and then I'm also going to declutter my NYC smooth skin bronzer I love this bronzer you know what, no, I have to have one single bronzer. I'm not gonna have a single bronzer here. I'm gonna keep NYC Sunny because as you can see, I've used it so much that the freaking design is gone and I love this bronzer so much, especially for like a single bronzer. I don't have another bronzer like this because I decluttered all the rest of them. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep the NYC bronzer because this has been my favorite bronzer for years. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. All right, so for bronzers, we are keeping the Too Faced Mini Sample, the NYC Bronzer, and my Shade and Light Palette. So that's pretty good, that's three. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and move on with the hardest one, and that is definitely blushes. All right guys, we are in the last section. This is actually the last, check, the last section I think I'm gonna film today because it's starting to get a little bit darker because I think the rain is coming back. But this is my blush collection. <laughs> I have way too much blushes for my own good, so let's just get into it. So the first two that I'm keeping 100% are my palettes. I have the Laura Geller Just Blushing Palette. These are three mini blushes by Laura Geller. They come in Golden Apricot, Bora Bora slash Maui, and Tropic Hues. And Tropic Hues is my favorite blush, so I'm going obviously, yeah. And then I really love Golden Apricot. This one I'm still working on, but honestly, I just think this is an amazing palette. I'm actually currently in my everyday using Tropic Hues Mini for my blush for my everyday box. So I'm gonna keep my Laura Geller blushes. 
Next is this guy, and I barely use it, and it's because I have so many other blushes that I'm never going into this box of amazingness. So, so you can see it's upside down because you can actually take this out, which kind of pisses me off a little bit, but whatever. This is the Chicathon palette by the by Benefit. It was like 50 something dollars, but each one of these is like 20 bucks from Benefit. So this was definitely a great deal. I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, you should totally check it out. It has Coralista, Dallas, Dandelion, Hula, and Rockateur. And these are just some, a really nice array of blushes. They have your neutral blushes, a cool tone blush, a warm tone blush, and like a highlighter blush. So I honestly feel like this is such an amazing deal and I'm definitely going to be using it now that I am decluttering my collection. So let's talk e.l.f. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this e.l.f. blush. This is the color Mellow Mauve. It just started to get kind of like bumpy and stuff. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and actually purge this up. Oh my god, you guys, this is so hard. I'm going to get rid of my ColourPop blushes. I know this sounds horrible because I love ColourPop blushes, but this is the color Prenup. This is the color Between the Sheets, and this is the color birthday suit but honestly these don't really do anything for my skin tone um they're very very neutral shades this guy <laughs> this guy right here um i love Too Faced blushes and i don't have any besides this one but this one is just so freaking pink and bright and it doesn't really do anything for me and it makes me kind of sad but I've been trying to kind of use it, but honestly, it's just way too pink for me. Dude, this is the Love uh, Too Faced Love Flush uh, 16 Hour Blush to Justify My Love. I might purchase another Too Faced Love Flush of these, but like in a more wearable color because this is not really the most wearable color for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. Two Milani blushes right here. They're the rose blushes. They're the ones with like the rose pattern in it. And I think the one, I think I'm going to keep them both because... They're really good. You know what? No. I'm going to get rid of Romantic Rose, which is this mauve color because I have another one that I want to keep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. But I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. This is the MAC Cheek Stain in Barbara and Benetint. Benetint. And I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Tarte's Sensual Blush, which is this blush right here. It's just a beautiful neutral blush. And I did tell you guys that the ColourPop ones um, were neutral and didn't do anything for my skin tone, but this is an amazing neutral blush that has a little bit of a bronze going on through it and a pink, so it like works perfectly for contour and blush. I love this color so much, and this also I can use with a powder brush. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this Milani Baked Blush in the color Fantastico Mauve. This actually barely survived my last declutter video, but I really just don't use it. I have my three NYX blushes. I am gonna get rid of this one because I have Tarte Sensual now, so I really don't need this one anymore. This is NYX's blush in the color Terracotta. I use this blush so long. I love this blush a lot, but honestly, like, I think this one kind of trumped it for my summer blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this guy. I am gonna go ahead and keep these two guys. Now, there's a story behind both of them. The first one is Amber. It's literally my favorite blush in the freaking world. It's just this beautiful, like, deep coral blush. I love it. And then I have Desert Rose, which is just a beautiful, like, flushed color. It makes you look like you were just playing in the snow for, like, hours. I love that. I love that, like, innocent type blush look. Now I got these guys. So I know I'm getting rid of one out of the three. Can you guys guess? No? We're getting rid of NARS, baby. Now... I've had this blush for a long time and as you can see I've barely even used it like maybe I used it once or twice but honestly like I ain't about this life anymore I just feel like this is so overpriced for what it is and it really makes me angry now because there's so many better blushes out there than this one this is orgasm and I know that this is like a cult favorite a couple of years ago from YouTube and I actually bought this because of YouTube but it is time to get rid of Zinaire's blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and keep, obviously, my Model Co blush, which is basically NARS's Orgasm, and it's a little bit cheaper than it. It's actually kind of expensive. I got this in a box. 
um, but it's actually like 18 to 20 dollars from model co which is crazy especially it's so tiny but again it's really really expensive but this literally this and ours are the same thing so i'd rather keep this one because this is like my go-to pretty girl blush oh and then finally we are keeping max center of the universe i got this off of all cosmetics wholesale i remember i was debating to buy this forever and i'm so happy i did i got this a couple of maybe like a year back i got this and i love this, this is just the perfect like copper color i used to wear this all the time when i was a redhead but now that I wear basically black hair all the time, this is a beautiful color for that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I'm getting rid of a ton of stuff over here, which I'm really excited about. And then this is everything that I'm gonna be keeping. So let's go ahead and see if it all fits in here. So let's put our blushes in here. Perfect, they all fit. And these are just gonna hang up. Actually, I'll put this one in here as well. And these are just gonna hang out on the side and I feel like we decluttered this so nicely. Oh my gosh, you guys, from this big thing which we are going to be getting rid of. I might give this to Richard's mom for the declutter for her rummage sale because it's like a storage unit to one little basket. I am super stoked. All right guys, that was the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet joined the Briar Patch fan band where we have fun here all the time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I'm the bad hatter. I'll pour you tea, please don't let it spread her. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the mad hatter. <laughs>